Hello, my name is Kirill and you are watching my LEGO Technic channel. This summer I've got my first Buiz receivers and today I'd like to share my impressions. If you are using Buiz for a long time, this video will be not interesting for you. Buiz is Bluetooth receiver with built-in accumulator and four power functions outputs. It allows to control your LEGO models by using smartphone. So Buiz combines power source and two power functions receivers. O power source and S brick with connection cable. The first great advantage of Buiz is its small size. Buiz is even more compact than simple Lego accumulator without receivers. It has four Technic pin holes and it's very conveniently to mount it. Also, it weighs 10 gram less. So Buiz is excellent solution both for small models, no external receivers, less wires. And for big models, because two Buiz receivers can replace up to four large battery boxes, so your model will be much lighter. The second feature of Buiz is huge output power. It can provide four different voltages, 5 volts for old LEGO systems, 7 volts as usual LEGO accumulator, uh, 9 volts as battery box, and 11 volts. 11 volt mode is absolutely insane. It provides more than 3 amps to the buggy motor and can support two of them on a full power. So we have up to 5 or even 6 amps in total. This power is out of LEGO limits, you should be very careful to save gears and excels in your model. But the performance is really awesome. After the first try you will not return to usual LEGO electronics. One local feature is usual micro USB charging port. Uh, if you buy LEGO accumulator, you have to buy a special charger for it. And the original LEGO charger is a really expensive toy. Buiz even can be used with connected power bank. The control range is up to 60 meters. It is a really huge distance. I think without camera it's impossible to control the model at this range. I like power functions connectors of this receiver, they have very high quality, just like original LEGO connectors. Buiz provides proportional control of usual motors and servo motors. Also, it's very conveniently to create profiles in Buiz application. Let's I demonstrate it. I connect medium motor to the first port and now I'll create new profile. Controls layout, add slider. I can resize it if I want. And now I'll connect Buiz, select device, the first port. So that's all. Drive. So it's really easy and very fast. Also I can add a voltage switch. And now So this is it. And the last very important point is the price. For light models, Buiz costs approximately like original LEGO system with accumulator. But if we have powerful model with two buggy motors, for instance, uh, Buiz is much cheaper because one LEGO accumulator can't power two buggy motors. So you need two accumulators, uh, two power functions, receivers of the second version, or two accumulators and two S bricks, and all these components will be very expensive in total. To say the truth, it's impossible to run buggy motor at full power with original LEGO electronics because of power function system's current limit is only 1.3 amps. We have tested buggy motors and its current consumption could be more than 2 and even 3 amps. 
The only one point I don't like in Buviz is its power button. It's very easy to turn on it. I just press the button, but it's really difficult to shut down. I tried short pressing, long pressing. It seems it's a random process. <laughs> you can see that I can't shut down it. Come on. <laughs> Of course, it's not critical for me, but it's really strange. So, Buiz is an awesome solution for light and very compact models, for all models with buggy motors. Also, it will be useful for large construction equipment because of its small weight and because of its huge output power. I think we won't get something like this in new LEGO Control Plus system. The most compact solution at this time is Control Hub with only two outputs. Also, LEGO has very low current limits to save official models. So, this is all for today. You can find the link to Buvi's official store in video description. Thanks for watching. Bye!